Hey there, beloved Ascension Pioneers. Welcome to another Ascension update with me, Polona. <laughs> oh boy, gosh, we had an eclipse, right? Super moon, full moon. Gosh, what not, huh? We've been preparing for this for eons and eons, and um, I'm recording by the water again because water represents cleansing. And uh, I just recorded a little tiny froggy. I'll put it at the end of the video, so stay tuned for that one. It's just beautiful. The frog representing exactly what my message is about today. Purification, cleansing, getting rid of the old. And I was posting on my Facebook page today that I'm really guided to get rid of everything of the old. I was doing this, you know, since the... even prior to 2013, actually. When my life started shifting so much. <clears throat> But recently, more and more, you know, it comes in stages and it's like in phases and we're decluttering in layers. So I'm guided this week to get rid of a lot of stuff, donate, um, give away, sell something maybe even. <laughs> and it's just the need for such a pure, white, clean, crystal clean slate, you know, like a new blank piece of paper. And the need to get rid of things that are not even my own. Like in the basement, there's a lot of things that are, you know, still from my dad <laughs> who passed away years ago. And my half-brother and things like that. It's just things that, what are they doing there? <laughs> it's like, you know, I remember at the beginning of the, of the year, I was getting a bit annoyed. And I was saying, because I had enough of all this crap. And I said, why? Why am I supposed to do this? Because it's not even mine. And I was upset about it. But, you know, when you come into this realization that it's there for a reason and no one will do it instead of you if it's there so I needed to take responsibility like always in my hand I'm always a doer and I'm an infinite perfectionist Virgo <laughs> and uh, I just really see how I need to do this and uh, I want to have like a clean empty completely empty basement so this week I don't know how much time I'll have for my videos <laughs> I'll be doing lots of physical stuff as well and I've even you know randomly angels have been giving me these signs randomly came across to this sign on the on our front door which then later disappeared <laughs> oh gosh and there's ticks again you know lately there's so many ticks out there here in nature yuck <laughs> well they do represent annoyance you know there's still these human energies that were you know on the planet for so long anyway <laughs> yeah but spirit always shows me you know hey there's a tick crawling or there's a tick look <laughs> i always see them um, I wanted to say that I saw this sign on the door, there it was, it was about this garage sale, this uh, lady organizing and she just said, Clean are you cleaning out your basements, are you getting rid of everything, and we usually don't have these types of things here, I know they have them a lot in the United States, um, backyard sales, garage sales, but not so much here, and I was so excited to see that note, I'm like, yeah, perfect, exactly what I'm planning my week ahead to be like. So, I don't know, I'm recording this video in advance to give you a bit of report on the Ascension Energies. This was just, you know, like always when I do videos out in nature, like a beautiful intro. A bit more sharing my personal experiences, which of course is helpful because whenever I put energy out there this way, I see that people are always responding saying, oh my gosh, I'm guided to do the same or, oh gosh, how did you know what I'm doing as well? Or, you know, it's not me, it's just the universal energies. And it's, you know, if you want to move in your life like I do, you know, closer to nature and my mountains. And sometimes you'll be guided to take some prioritized steps before in advance when this journey will begin. Because, you know, imagine you, you, get, a new, you get an offer and then you're not yet prepared. You have a whole bunch of crap in your basement or everywhere and you have so much things to handle. And you're like, oh, but I have to take care of this and that and that. And then when the opportunity knocks, it's good to be free already. So a lot of the times, maybe we might not understand what guidance is saying because in the now, guidance is pointing us to do something else. And you might be all like, oh, but where's my house? Why is nothing manifesting? And it is manifesting. It is being created exactly through these steps that you're first guided to take. And for me, this is this, this week. But on another note, what I wanted to say about these cleansing energies is how during this last eclipse, don't forget, there's a six month period ahead of us and that will culminate at the end of, you know, these uh, final eclipses season of the year, which is usually, I think, in November and the, in the, yeah, in the end of the year. And uh, all of this is so, we are still undergoing this process of purification, you know, these eclipses, especially lunar ones, are always about 
purification and there was a lot of that even our bodies were being upgraded there was a lot of ascension symptoms just rushing through the entire populace of the ascending humans so i've been writing about this a lot and i've been sharing what this is happening with our dna with our cells how we're being reprogrammed basically rewired in a new template how our solar body our light body is being activated and all of that stuff you can find that still if you haven't yet checked it out and you're just randomly now seeing this video but i wish to say more now about what is happening also on a higher note remember when i said after every yeah you know after before actually before every upgrade we receive there will always be a period of purification yeah thunder <laughs> that's what the weather is like you know these days it's like april in the end of may and gosh we got accepted as it is because nature nature knows best anyway I wanted to share now what is more happening on the note of becoming our Christ itself because this is something I really started talking about remember at the equinox when I made a video about the Christ in new light entering and yesterday I've seen video from Sandra from Ascension Upgrade Ascension of Integration pardon me and she's been sharing this as well and it's exactly what I've been receiving um, since a while now and it's so good to see other ascension guides sharing the same through our own words you know it's like we all hold a tiny piece of the puzzle and how we share it's individualized and unique but it's still very important that we support each other that we keep connected that we keep um, getting these confirmations through together that we get this information out there for people who are interested in this who are choosing ascension as their only path now and getting it out there so what's happening is this beautiful cosmic heart which i've been talking about for so long you know and the heart that is our higher not just our higher heart you know it doesn't just have to do with the higher chakra system which i mentioned the 13 chakra system you know it has to do with um this christ at heart it's like when you become once again a fully integrated cosmic being and um it's something that was being shown here before by other way showers <laughs> they came here before this age that we're now in and walking into the age of Aquarius but this is kind of like a heart that's seated here and it's diamond in shape and I've always been talking about the diamond cord remember it's just for example Sandra put it in other terms in other words and yesterday before going to bed I was just lying there I took like this um, it reminded me of the diamond like my uh, soap shaped, um, what was it, crystal? Yeah, <laughs> my beautiful selenite crystal. I just put it here in this spot and I just breathe through it, just breathe. So, I, you know, I could imagine how this is seated here. A lot of us have been in this essence forever because we already came with this activated here. I mean, not activated, we came already like this, but we needed to activate it on a human level as well to show the way. And yeah, we are here to show the way. We're not disappearing anywhere. We're not going to, a, like Sandra said, a higher dimensional place because we have a work to do here. We have sharings to do. We have things to show. We have um, this responsibility to show that it is possible to live this way. Because a lot of the people don't want to give up the still these beliefs about you know having a job the old way, making money the old way, being you know fed the old way. Because simply when you just can't imagine how this can be through such simplicity, because you haven't known it for your whole life, you just don't know how it's like, then you just don't imagine it. But when you see someone who is there, who's doing it, who's living that way, then you can start seeing that it's possible. And that is why way shores are staying here on Earth. They're not disappearing anywhere. Because what would be the reason? What would be the point of it? There's still a lot of duality here in this planet. And because we have recently got this ascension upgrade which i mentioned we've been pulling up and when we pull ourselves up we also pull all of the life up and remember as much light because this is still you know within polarity as much light that there is triggered also the same amount of darkness is being released so when you pull yourself up you know maybe people in your immediate environment will always understand this won't always respect it won't always choose the same way even they might get scared because when you lift up because of the eternal scaling within neutrality you know peace when people say oh you know i wish for peace there won't be peace on this planet full peace like the whole planet before neutrality takes place because you cannot have peace in the extremes you can have the experience of it but full peace lies in that neutrality so 
as many as they're lifting, of course, they're also lifting up that garbage, <laughs> that which we are not in a true Christ at essence. So don't get scared if there's a lot of negativity coming to the surface. Because in this process that we're now becoming this being, we're integrating this essence. And I feel this will be, it's not like it's going to complete. Because a lot of pe the people in this community through, you know, being Ascension Guides, we feel the same thing. And we feel it's really important. Oh gosh. <laughs> I just can't mention, guys, how many ticks there is here. It is just impossible. So, yeah. <laughs> But still, I chose this pot for a reason, because of the water. Um, yeah, it's, it's, we feel these things, but it's, remember, it's, an, it's about infinite expansion. The expansion will always be infinite, because when you say, Oh, I got to a certain point, I'm done. I need to leave the planet. <laughs> you don't really see, you don't really, you have not got it yet, what it's about. Because when you do, if you do reach that point, you don't vanish, you don't disappear. You activate what you know and you use it for the greater good, for the benefit of the whole and you, you know, enlist yourself to being of service to the greater whole, like I did for a while ago. So that is the beauty and uh, it is so important through every cleansing that we embrace that we, we have gotten higher and higher and more elevated and elevated. And um, the more we clean, the more we create these blank state, states, you know, not just in our psyche and our emotions and it's so important to do that physically because it's our physical life that needs to show the way to all humans who are desiring this change needs to show this way that it is possible that is what we're here for anyway so i would recommend now because i will go because i don't want to have ticks all over me now they're everywhere gosh and they're so tiny it's kind of hard to see them i guess the spot is very energetic because I've noticed that ticks are always there when there's the most energy. They know what place to pick, you know? So anyway, oh, it's a part of my message is also that when you see this happening, the shift, you will see a lot of more animals come to you. I have a few animal companions here when I go for a walk that they just come and they say hello. They just, you know, so guided to be in that space for you, even if it's just for a few seconds. So this is happening now a lot. Also, I wish to say, if you're out in nature a lot, like I am, if you see this translucent like like a, like a curtain or like a veil, oh, and there's a bird there. I'm just talking about animals. It's so close. It's so beautiful. Oh, gosh. Yeah, nature is miraculous. Whenever I'm out in nature, I just can't believe. And animals will be, look, I'm talking, and she's not even scared of the bird. She's, like, totally near me. She's flying here, very low beautiful bird these usually have these blue feathers they're so amazing and they're just you will see animals you see the you'll see at the end of the video go rewind there the animals are no longer afraid of you they feel your Christed presence they're you're like becoming you know like Francis a sissy you have that energy you know it's even ticks <laughs> I know they're really not divine beings they're usually um, you might know not know this but ticks are actually astral entities becoming physical because of the energies of annoyance and um, negativity but still you know <laughs> they wish to be further activated and in enlightened state as well so they they usually come to the space of the vortex you know we were observing this with my mom one day we were sitting on a blanket and all ticks they were like huge amounts of them all were walking like on a, on a pavilion they were they were going through towards me none of them went to, to, to my mom and like oh my god what's happening it's like they they migrated from all sides it's like I was being ambushed and I couldn't believe I'm like oh my gosh I gotta disappear it's like they're going towards me you know like marching <laughs> it's a funny story and I have many of such stories but it's how you are in nature that will really show you nature is your best mirror. Remember that because it's neutral. Nature is neutral. So you can see best yourself. And just see how animals, how all is aligning with you. It's like in this beautiful attuned song and you're just becoming a part of everything. And it's just beautiful. It's really a beautiful process. And this veil that I mentioned before the bird interrupted me, it's like... Um, my guidance is saying that this is actually the veils, you know, between these dimensions and realms. And they're becoming thinner and thinner. And I've been seeing this ever since my awakening, you know, like this curtain drops, like like the sprinkles of translucent energy is just like, you know, I just can't explain it. But if this is happening to you, know that this is because these layers are being thinner and thinner. You know, it's like, yeah, the veils are thinning. 
and um, also I wish to say one more thing a lot of people now because this um, denser energy is being released because of these mirrorings especially through us being neutral sometimes there's people who have certain beliefs about themselves they think they're all good they're the best and these are people who actually stay at the same point all the time so maybe they might come across people like us who might say well I don't feel this or I don't feel <laughs> you're like this and they will see a different image about themselves and because they were so convinced they were a certain way and they just can't embrace it because no I'm perfect you know this is how it is period these people are like standing they don't even know they're standing at the same point they're not moving because you are infinitely expanding and your greatest perfection lies in realizing that you're perfect when you realize that you also have these attributes that won't always be perfect and by you being aware of it that is where your perfection is coming from truly so i've noticed a lot of people are going now like oh but no i'm like this i don't have any negativity i don't have any and the moment you start defending it the moment you start really de it's like denying it and denial is not embracing your shadow so a lot of the people who had really great 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 beliefs about themselves not like feeling themselves neutrally you know when you have like a negative attribute you need to purge it that's how it is so a lot of the people now are just saying no you know not me i don't have that because the veils are really thinning and they're being asked to really drop the shadow so if you have any experiences with people like that just just be yourself continue to be you allow them to to see things on their own we don't need to convince anyone into anything you know we're all choosing how we're choosing everyone is walking into their christ presence if they so choose to but this is happening now on a major scale i'm seeing because of this you know lifting up and then <laughs> everything being purified so anyway i need to go because of the ticks and my legs kind of hurt because i'm standing in this weird pose it's not really natural and uh, i'll talk to you soon I don't know how many videos I can do this week, but I'll try to be, you know, as I'm guided, if I receive something important, I'll try to put it online anyway. So take care. I love you all so much. Enjoy nature. Go out as much as you can. This is how we're preparing the most, in a most profound way. It's an important part of the journey. So, my beloveds, until next time. Bye. No, look at this, beloved pioneers. Isn't this just adorable? Look at this little creature. I was chasing her and then she surrendered. Now she's just resting on my palm. I want to, you know, like put her. Oh, look at her. Bye bye, little froggy. Have a nice journey. And you know, frog represents cleansing <laughs> and getting rid of the old and emotional and everything. So it's a good message for us today. Goes along with the video. <laughs> Take care. Lots of blessings. Bye.